I'm Insomniac and today we're looking at a couple of cold brew coffees from Beanbox. First of all, big shout out to Amanda for sending these in. Uh, I don't normally do cold brew on this channel, but mostly because I don't want to do cold brew. I don't really have anything against cold brew coffee, but I don't want to brew coffee cold. But I was more than willing to give these a shot because you don't have to brew anything, which is what's awesome about this. These boxes that you see here, that's how they come. The coffee is already brewed and already in these boxes, literally. You punch out these tabs here, you kind of literally put your finger through them, you pull out the spouts, they have a little seal on the bottom that you pull off, you push the spout, you get your coffee out. It's as simple as that. So being that I didn't have to do the cold brewing process, I get to just drink it. I was like, sure, send it in. So what we have here are two different cold brews. I don't know if these are the only two they have or if they just sent me these two. Nobody tells me these things. I could of course just went to uh, beanbox.com slash cold brew, which is what it says on the back of the box and seeing if there are other brews but I'm assuming there aren't because there are two things on the back of the box. You can see that one says rich and creamy, the other one says smooth and bright, and one is checked off. So I'm guessing that these are the two options. And just a quick note ahead of time, uh, these have been in my refrigerator for a while. So yes, they are nice and cold, they are chilled. I don't have any ice in this mug, but uh, don't need it. Also, I think maybe you drink cold brew in a glass, not a coffee mug. But either way, I mean, this is a vessel to get the liquid into my mouth, so I'm, I'm using this. So on the back of the smooth and bright, it says organic farm direct Guatemalan beans with a smooth brightness and refreshing crisp profile. Flavor like a chocolate vanilla swirl and a squeeze of fresh summer citrus. Enjoy over ice or mixed with club soda or lemonade. Leave down in the comments if you've ever mixed coffee into lemonade. Maybe that's something I've just never heard of in this area. That sounds disgusting. So I won't be doing that. Uh, notes, chocolate milk, vanilla, tangerine. So you push the button. And there you go. Black cold brew coffee. And again, this one is the uh, bright and sweet, not the rich and creamy. We'll try that one in a minute. In terms of aroma, you really don't get a lot. It just smells sweet and creamy. It kind of reminds me of like sweet chocolate milk or something like that. But you don't get a whole lot of aroma. Obviously, you're going to get more aroma from a hot coffee because it's letting off steam. No shit. Let's see what it tastes like. Well, I'll tell you what, it really is very smooth and creamy. Like to the extent that it tastes like if you were to have put milk in the coffee. This is black, you saw it coming out of there. But it's creamy to the extent that you would swear there's cream in it. You have some unsweetened chocolate, unmistakably some chocolate. And you definitely get a bit of the vanilla that they're talking about. A kind of natural vanilla, not like an artificial vanilla, so that's very nice. Uh, I really don't get any of the citrus that they're talking about here, though. Of course, that could just be me, but really, this is just a nice, really smooth and creamy natural chocolate and vanilla, and really nice. Actually, very enjoyable. I like this. I'm still really confused about the mixed with club soda or lemonade thing, though. I mean... Everybody leave some comments down there and let me know if I'm missing something and I am just the only person who has never put club soda, which doesn't sound too extreme, or lemonade in their coffee or vice versa. That, that sounds, oh my god, that sounds miserable. I almost wish I had lemonade here just so I could try that on camera and attempt not to spit it all over the place. That's, uh, that sounds terrible. Okay. So that was the smooth and bright onto the rich and creamy. So the rich and creamy says a blend of all organic beans from Central and South America and Indonesia, reminiscent of iced mocha, that sounds nice, uh, with intense chocolate flavors, a full and creamy texture, and a long finish. Delicious black or with a splash of milk. That sounds more reasonable for a coffee, not club soda or lemonade, geez. Notes. Dark chocolate and vanilla. That sounds simple enough. Okay, so not a ton of aroma here either, again, because it's cold, but this smells exactly like Yoohoo. Yoohoo, baby! 
Let's see what it tastes like. Also very smooth and creamy. This one doesn't taste like it has cream in it though, like the smooth and bright this bottom one is called. This one just has a really smooth, creamy texture. Kind of like the mouthfeel that you get from having something that has cream or milk in it. It actually tastes a lot like chocolate milk, but if you were to use like an organic chocolate powder as opposed to like a chocolate milk mix or, you know, a Hershey syrup or something like that, it's like organic chocolate milk that you'd give to your kids if you don't want them to have any fun. Presto! No more tantrum! That kind of chocolate milk. This one's a little bit more earthy, kind of reminds you a little bit more of a standard cup of hot brewed coffee. And you do have a little bit of a vanilla-like sweetness in there, like vanilla taffy or vanilla nougat, something like that. It's kind of laced throughout the entire thing. And this one definitely has that long finish that it tells you about on the box here. You can taste this coffee for minutes after the sip, and you're probably thinking, well, how the hell would you know? It's only seconds in between sips here. Well, I tried this off camera. <laughs> Excuse me. You can literally take a sip and a couple minutes later, you can still taste the flavor in your mouth. The good news there is that it's a good flavor. This really is extremely smooth, easy to drink, uh, really nice. So it's not like you're left with anything bitter or disgusting for a couple of minutes, but you are gonna taste the coffee a while after you drink it. Yeah, this is really nice. And I have to tell you, uh, personally, I really don't prefer coffee cold, regardless of whether or not you send it to me in a neat little package like this or I have to do it myself. Uh, I'm that nut job that if it's 95 degrees out, I'm still drinking hot coffee. You're dealing with a psychopath. But this is really nice. And from the uh, kind of convenient or let's just be honest, American slash lazy perspective. Can I get six original monster tacos this is a kick-ass idea i actually don't know what these cost i didn't look at the site but the fact that this literally gets sent to you in the mail like this you pop the tab out stick it in the fridge or don't you know use ice whatever but you literally just pop that out you hit the spigot and you have coffee that's this good without doing any work whatsoever uh that's something to look into and random disclaimer i like to throw this in there because youtube at this point is becoming a cesspool of influencers being paid to advertise things so you're not really sure if you're getting an honest take on this or that i'm happy slash sad to say that beanbox has given me literally nothing uh to do this video other than the coffee itself so i'm not saying that this is enjoyable because i have to uh, this was free so if it sucked that's what i would tell you this is actually really nice, so check it out, give it a shot. I mean, I don't know what this costs. If it's $100 a box, then maybe not, but I'm sure it's quite a bit cheaper than that. Uh, shout out again to Amanda. Thank you very much for sending this in. Most importantly, if you have had this coffee, either one of these uh, bean box cold brews, leave down in the comments what you thought about it so other people know what your experience was like. Feedback down in the comments definitely helps people make an informed purchase decision. Yeah, this was actually better than I thought it was gonna be. Definitely enjoyed it. So that's it. I have uh, a ton of coffees over there on the shelf that people have sent in. So a lot more coffee reviews coming. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notifications thing. Now I'm sounding like one of those YouTubers I was talking about earlier. But anyway, do all of that stuff. Keep watching the videos. Enjoy coffee. And I'll see you soon. Ah, ah, with a bottle.